Belle Coo Sport and Festival kicked off on Tuesday night with the Children's GAA Tournament. Boys and girls from the age of five took part. Jerry McAloon is just one of the many volunteers who helped organise the competition. Delighted with the response, he says getting children involved in sport at a young age is the mission he champions all year round. I think it's very important and it's very important to get children at a young age uh, and, and try and retain them, keep, keep children involved because certainly when they come into their teenage years they need sport and certainly in this area there's very little uh, to do and they need their GA club and that's in Balku we make provision for that. And, a lot of our youngsters, 80 to 90 percent of our youngsters, will participate in uh, uh, Gaelic games. We made a decision in Balcou that no longer would we prepare a team with six or eight weeks before competition. That we were going to take another, a more strategic approach. So we've been taking the children from their P1 five-year-olds uh, in the class. So when they come, the ten-year-olds, they they know more than me about the football. So. Uh, you know, it's, it, it's not something that you pick up on today and you go out and play the game. They've been building up the skills. Tom White here, this referee in this game at the moment, Tom would take the P1s, that five, six, seven year olds, and get them the basic skills and then they move up to uh, Tina Gallagher and myself and then other senior players uh, such as John and Feely would come in and help me out in, in getting players. The kids' skills on the pitch were evident for all to see and by the smiles on their faces, playing Gaelic games is a pastime they all enjoy. I like playing Gaelic because you get to meet the other children from different communities and it's just nice to get to know other people that they wouldn't have to get, get a chance to know if you don't play fo Gaelic football. Hi, I'm Fagra and I love Gaelic because it's fun and I like winning. Because there's your friends from other clubs, like you can like get to talk to them and all. You get to meet your friends and then you get to play against them and if, if they lose you can cheer. And it gets you out of the house for a while. I like meeting people and just playing against other teams. I play full forward and it's a really important position because I score all the goals and it's really good. Although football is predominantly a boys sport, the girls can give as good as they get both on and off the pitch. We're very better than the boys and we can lift it off the ground. And our kicks are more accurate. We are better than the boys because we can kick it further and fist pass it further and we're just so better than them. Tina Gallagher, the under-14 Belcoo ladies manager, together with her girls, brought home the under-14 title to the town. The team is made up of about 20 local girls from Belcoo and Mullock Dunn, and recently they won the under-14 girls Division 1 title beat by beating Adam C in the final. It was a great game and they won by five points in the end. Well, I'm always happy, they'll tell you, the girls let you know that whether they win, lose or draw, um, you know, it was a great act, act to win, but, you know, I'm just happy to be with the girls once they're happy with me. Captain Tara Gallagher and her teammate Dervla Leonard says it was tough but well worth all the hard work they put in. It was tough from the start but we pulled through in the end. We were playing Adam C and it was down in was it? Maguire's Bridge. Bridge. Yeah, and we, it was all the local girls who were <laughs> already our friends and Dervla played wing half back and I was midfield and put up a good fight. As the night drew to a close and the final pictures were taken, one little lady with hand on hip proves that although she and her friends may be boisterous on the pitch, at the heart of it, girls will always be girls. Ashlyn Hagen for Mana TV.